and welcome to the second Music Vault Academy Percussion Podcast. Today I'd like to discuss more in depth uh, what I mentioned last week in our intro and that is the three different methods to which we're teaching children depending on their age with regards to percussion. We'll start with the, with the really young kids, we'll start with zero to five. It's very exposure based. We want to get the student listening, we want to get them hearing different kinds of things and also creating through improvisation. A lot of times I'll have a student play along to a recording of something, of some interest, some different kinds of music, um, and just see what comes up and then play along with them. And all you can see all the sounds that can be made from just this little pot and pan, or pot and spatula. I can hit the, I can hit the side of it, hit the inside of it, scrape it, I can take another And these are all the things that gets the student listening. This might seem pedantic to us, but this is a super interesting sound to a four-year-old. Also, we have the lid so we can play together. These are all sounds that the student is going to be discovering for the first time. So it's really important that we facilitate that in a creative and uh, positive environment. Now moving on to the ages 6 to 11, um, at this age the child is starting to do in school, you know, they're learning while doing fun activities and we really want to kind of integrate, start integrating music theory into those activities. So musical notation, you know, practicing drawing treble claps, bass claps, learning what quarter notes are, learning what eighth notes are and how these all work, as well as writing them down and writing their own very simple music. And along with all of the music theory and written down notation that we'll be working with this 6 to 10 age group, 6 to 11, excuse me, age group, this is the main part of the growing process that we introduce pitch into the lessons. A little beginner xylophone bell set. And instead of just giving that to the child and allowing them to go crazy with it, um, but introducing kinds of things like, okay, make sure you end on what you can see is the bottom or the top, the blue notes. So you could really do anything. And it sounds like something. And then the student has just created something and they can feel motivated in that sense. Just by giving simple parameters, we can have them create something interesting that is pleasing to listen to. So we'll also be doing lots of playing back and forth, playing by rote, but also understanding these rhythms and all these kinds of different things that we've been creating since ages zero to five. We can now start applying them to music theory and understanding how they're written, how they're notated, and how they're interpreted. And then 12 and up. After the years go on, we can start applying these things to the more traditional classical percussion instruments. This also works really well because at about age 12, about age 11, their motor function and coordination is really fully developed and ready to be strengthened. So instead of working on really intricate kinds of snare drumming or how to hold the stick properly before this age, we're working on pitch at that point and introducing pitch and not really worrying about the technical facility until their body is ready to take it in and develop with it. So from everything that we've built on thus far, we can start working on skills like this. Once again, if you have any questions, comments, concerns, uh, anything you'd like us to discuss in the future, please put that in the comment section below, uh, and we will we will address your questions as they come up. Uh, also, again, I'd like to thank our sponsors Yamaha and Vic Firth. Um, 
fantastic companies that we are very, very happy to work with.